there is, of course, damage control and spin, and much as we might like to live in a world where it does not exist, it does. And if it is not bipartisan, it certainly is nonpartisan. But then there is outright misdirection, perhaps even bald-faced lying, on at least two and probably three occasions during the first run of Fox News Channel's O'Reilly Factor last night. Former Congressman Foley was identified in an on-screen graphic as a Democrat. He is, of course, a Republican. The inaccuracy went on the air even though the O'Reilly program is not live, but rather pre-taped several hours before it is broadcast. This was not corrected during the telecast. It was not acknowledged on air or off by Fox. Later replays of the program simply aired without the on-screen graphics. They were not replaced by correct graphics identifying Foley as a Republican. O'Reilly's inaccuracy could have been a mistake. Acknowledging it and apologizing for it probably would erase the lingering suspicions, though, that it was deliberate. Of course, things aren't going particularly well over there this week. This past Monday, this newscast finished in first place in the 25 to 54 audience during the second quarter of the 8 to 9 p.m. hour, 33,000 more than O'Reilly, and the full hourly ratings, which Fox likes to wield like a club against all critics, showed this newscast had an audience 86% the size of O'Reilly's. How much of the audience?